Hello, I'm Nigel Palmer and I'm the author of the book The Regenerative Grower's Guide to Garden Amendments. This one. And this brief video is all about making fermented plant juice, which is one of the recipes in this book. Um, you'll also find a detailed analysis of the mineral composition of many of the fermented plant juice recipes that uh, I use in the garden. Um, yeah. Uh, fermented plant juice of dandelion. I've just got a bunch of dandelions and I'm just sizing up how much I want to make. So I just pick all these dandelions as I'm preparing a new bed from the garden. So there's plenty available. I like dandelions in my garden. And I'm just cutting them up and filling up this. Jar. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'll weigh it and add an equal amount of sugar. Any line I'll cut up. You ready? A pound of dandelion, a pound of sugar. And I like to mix these up. There we go. And then we'll fill the jar with the mixture. And I like to do some layering while I do this. A little dandelion. Sugar, little dandelion. Little sugar, little dandelion. Just a layer of sugar on the top. This dandelion fermented plant juice is ready to be decanted. You can see there's a nice liquid in there. I take the small weight off. So for labeling, I just take this label off because I'm going to decant it into this jar. So now I'm going to decant. I'm going to use a, a sieve to hold things in place and then literally just pour it in. And I'll get it so that it balances. And we'll just let that go, just like that. I want to keep an eye on it while the first blobs go down so that it uh, doesn't become unstable. There we go. There we go, here we go. Once it's decanted in the jar, um, I'll label it and put it on the shelf and have fermented plant juice of dandelion uh, at a dilution rate of a thousand or five hundred to one uh, this quart jar will last me quite some time there we go now everything will be stable and uh, I'm inclined to just let it go from this point on we'll come back and look at this later see how it does Now that you've made your fermented plant juice, you have about a quart of the liquid in a glass jar. Well, one quart may not seem like a lot, but when we dilute it 500 to 1, that's 500 quarts or 125 gallons of fermented plant juice mineral amendment. That'll go a long way. Not only that, it's shelf stable and it uh, will sit on the shelf for years. These fermented plant juices are multispectral. They have a very broad mineral composition. Uh, you can see the mineral composition of many of the fermented plant juices in the appendices of my book. The reason that these fermented plant juices have such broad spectrum mineral composition is because they're made from plants. How cool is that? 